here's how to organize literally everything with command hooks. Hook it. Hook it real good. This is 37 Clever Ways Hooks Can Organize Your Entire Life by Natalie Brown. The Kitchen. One, hooks have many functional uses in the kitchen, like holding baking utensils. Two, or you know, regular cooking utensils. They might clank a bit every time you close a cabinet though. A neat way to store your pans is with screw in cup hooks. For an overhead cabinet, line them up on the underside of a shelf, spacing them apart enough to ensure they'll each be easy to access. Three, and of course, hot pads. If you hang them on the wall or side of the fridge, they can do double duty as decor. Messy cabinet, pretty pot holder. Four, they can also transform an old door into an all-purpose kitchen storage unit. Now, with a magnetic knife addition and some reorganizing, I really, really love it. Five, a hook can hold a measuring cup on the side of your cereal bin, so you can portion it perfectly every morning. Six, use two hooks to make foil and plastic wrap easy to reach and tear. The pantry door was the best location for my handy wrap and tin foil. Directions. I found this package of plastic hooks at Walmart on the aisle with the bathroom storage accessories, and it only cost a couple of bucks. First, I took measurements and spaced the hooks 10 5 8 inches apart from inside to inside. The boxes fit on by sliding one end on first and then slightly pulling the other hook so the opposite end can be inserted. The hooks have just the right flimsiness factor to allow you to do this. And there they are hanging, just waiting to be used. 7. Add some shower curtain rings and rods to the side of your fridge for an easy to customize kids art gallery. Even better, this keeps the art in nice, neat rows, and it will never fall off because a magnet isn't magnety enough. 8. A solitary hook can make for convenient back of the high chair bib storage. Then it's easy to remove the hook when you want to donate the high chair later. 9. They can also hang beautiful country style window vases. You can gaze at them in between your baby's bites of pureed carrot. 10. Mount a vertical herb garden next to your kitchen window with a few small hooks. Directions. One, drill a hole in a plastic container. Two, hang your command hook, sturdy but removable and it won't damage your cabinets or walls. Three, fill your plastic container with some dirt and plants and hang it. 11, station a hook next to your sink to guard your rings while you do dishes. Having a hook there can help you remember to take them off. In the bathroom. 12. Create more storage space by securing a wire spice rack to the back of your bathroom cabinets. I used extra strong command hooks to hang a small wire rack. For perfumes and nail polish, no need to drill into or purchase over the door hooks. Make sure to get a spice rack that won't let your stuff fall out, like this one. 13. Or hang a wire file box on the side of your sink, or over your toilet, or next to your mirror, or wherever works best in your bathroom. 14. Combine the organizational power of hooks and caddies, and everyone can have their own shower rack. Just hang them on their own hooks. Make sure to use water-resistant adhesive if you're using adhesive hooks. 15. Switch those shower racks for bath toy baskets if and when your situation is more kid-focused. Again, water-resistant hooks are key. I nabbed a couple plastic-covered wire storage baskets on Amazon and hooked them daintily over the command hooks. The wide slots on the baskets help everything drain easily. No trapped water. Around the house. 16. Store the entire family's sunglasses on two hooks and a dowel. You can make sure the dowel stays in place with a tiny bit of sticky tack. But no guarantees your teenager won't borrow your favorite pair every time they head out. Instructions. 1. After locating just the right spot on the back of the cupboard door, adjust the interior shelves up or down a bit so that the sunglasses would not interfere with the shelving. Two, two or more command hooks were put on, dowel rods were cut to length and spray painted, and tiny balls of sticky tack applied. 17, an upside down hook can hold a wreath in place. Directions on how to make this work at theprettydubs.com. 18, and a small hook nestled on top of a door frame can hold banners and bunting. I messed and fussed with inconspicuous ways to hang the garlands for a long time until I came up with this ultra easy solution. When I don't have a banner hanging, they aren't visible because the hooks are clear and have a low profile. 
There is also one in the center of the doorframe if I'm doing a drooping number. I know, so easy. 19, pair a couple with a baseboard to hang a big quilt. I use damage-free hanging hooks, like Command Brand, found at all big box stores. No affiliation, just like them. From the front and side, you can't see the baseboard or the hook. Cool, right? 20. Hang curtains neatly by painting your hooks the same color as your crown molding with jumbo command hooks from Amazon. The tutorial on how to hang these curtains, plus info on trimming plastic hooks if they're too tall for your space, is pasted under this video. The only drawback to the process was that using the command hooks with our curtain rod didn't allow us to use the finials that came with the rod. They were much too big to allow the rod to sit as close to the wall as required by the hooks. 21. Clean up your entertainment center with the help of zip ties and small hooks. The ultimate cord organizing combo. 1. Ease your entertainment center slowly away from the wall. Do it gently. 2. Then start unwrapping and sorting through the cords. 3. Use zip ties to keep cords for each device together making one thick cord. I placed my zip ties about every 6 to 8 inches. And the final step, attach small command hooks near the top of your entertainment center to hang the newly zip tied cords so they cannot be seen when you push the entertainment center back against the wall. Now I can sit on my couch and don't have to worry about Delilah grabbing or pulling them. Plus I can easily clean underneath. It is a total win-win for $5 and 30 minutes. 22. Or you can seek out hooks designed specifically for holding cords. Find a video link under this video to get more details related to this solution. 23. Improvise a paper towel holder with two hooks and some spare wire. It's good if you don't want to buy a special paper towel rack for the garage, but happen to have some extra materials laying around. The bedroom. 24. Basic but beautiful and useful. Hang costume jewelry on a cork board. 25. Or just along the sides of a shelf. Or on your wall. Or the back of your closet door. 26. Hate the way the white plastic looks? Spray paint your hooks gold. For more information, including info on how to use washi tape for a cool cube border, go to ourfifthhouse.com. 27. Or coat them in some glittery Mod Podge. 1. Mix the glue and glitter together. I used a ratio of 2 to 1 glue to glitter. 2. Paint the glue and glitter mixture onto the 3M hooks. Allow a couple of minutes between coats of the mixture for the hooks to dry some. I did five coats to ensure the hooks were completely covered with glitter. Once done, wait at least an hour before hanging. 28. Painting plastic hooks can help your decorations look more finished. I mean, if you know they're command hooks, they'll still look like command hooks, but they won't stand out quite as much. 29. Hammered metallic spray paint can make them look more, well, like metal. You only need four 3M sticky hooks, which cost $4. Rustoleum hammered spray paint, which costs $7, and basic spray painting skill. 30. Have lots of time on your hands? Decoupage your hooks. 31. Give yourself some extra shelving in a small dorm room by hanging a spice rack on your wall. Spice racks, like this one for $9.99 and this one for $13.79, tend to be prettier than bathroom shower caddies, but those work too. 32. Use hooks to hang baskets on the wall, the perfect spot for kids to turn in their homework folders every day. 33. DIY a fun party game for your next get-together. It could also just be a fun way to hang kids' artwork. 34. Make your own affordable photo backdrop for a wedding, birthday party, or random special occasion. 35. Hang a dowel between two hooks for pretty washi tape storage. This could also work with spools of ribbon if you're the type to build a gift wrapping station. 36. Get the perfect macrame creation spot with the same dowel and two hooks trick. For those awesome people that macrame wall hangings. And 37. Position buckets on the side of the kid's craft table or your own grown-up work desk. Sand down the table, rinse with water and let dry. Spray paint the entire table, holding the can about 10 inches away. It may need two coats. Once the table is dry, fasten the hooks on the side and add buckets. Super simple and super cute done. As always, comment on this video before you leave, or press like and the share button if you don't have a minute or two. Don't leave the subscribe button unchecked if you've never visited this channel before, and see you again later. Thanks for watching!